one of the greatest seasons in NFL quarterback weirdly just does not get talked about enough. Let's paint the picture. It's 2013. There's a 16 game regular season and number 18, Peyton Manning is 37 years old. So basically what happens is he looks over at the record books, strikes up a match, throws a match on top of it, poof, torches those record books, rewrites them himself. And even though today we play 17 games, not 16, the majority of those records still stand. So I was feeling a little nostalgic. Plus like I'm 39. And so you kind of, you go out there and throw and you think about like, ah, oh, can I, you know what? And then Peyton Manning's 37 right here. So this just puts the whole thing in perspective. Let's get into the tape right here. This is Baltimore. How about these numbers? Week one, 462 yards and seven touchdowns. They won this game 49-27. There's a hot start to a record breaking year. All right, here's the situation. They're down. This is just a quick screen. And for sure, I mean, he threw some amazing balls, and then he also hit Demarius Thomas on a couple of screens that were just really well executed, really well blocked. Look at some of these names, by the way. This is Demarius Thomas. Here comes Wes Welker out, who's coaching in the NFL right now. Here comes Eric Decker across the field, who's, I don't know, still a famous guy, Eric Decker. Him and his wife, I think, are still famous. And here's Demarius Thomas, rest in peace, who was... Kind of like DK Metcalf of the early 2010s, and he is gone. So if you're going to throw 50 plus touchdowns, yes, some of them are going to be dimes and some of them are going to be just well executed plays where the quarterback typically got you in a position to do that. Second one, this is a third and nine, right? Taking on the Texans. They're going to play straight man across the board. Okay, so down here, you've really got three on three with help over the top. Okay, running back comes across. You're gonna see this linebacker go with him in man. Um, this tight end's manned up, or this safety's manned up as well. And they're actually doubling the tight end backside. They had a good tight end too, Julius Thomas, I think. These names are great. Okay, so they already hit the quick screen to Demarius. So let's pump that. And now here's Eric Decker down the sideline. And this is Peyton Manning. Yeah, they got into the right play, but that's also an absolute seed. Only place his boy can get it. Gets two in, little uh, jump off the wall. Look at this, miking it up. Peyton was late in the film room on a Tuesday and saw an opportunity to dial this up. Okay, so touchdowns all over the place. Then they win that game 37-13. That game at the time tied Brady for the single season touchdown record. But then let's fast forward 2013 AFC Championship game versus the Patriots. They win this thing 26 to 16. Brady Manning. We're down in here on the goal line. It's first and goal. Again, talking about names, here's Mike Vrabel. Okay. Biting on the naked fake. Peyton New Mike's it over here at Teddy Bruski. Naked Vrabel bites on it. Here comes Irving. Uh-oh. And then Peyton just sets up, rips it back inside to a fullback who looks a lot like a guard. I'm trying to think of who this guy's name is. And here's Peyton with the glove, with the shoulders back, with the long neck, the whole deal. This was awesome. All right, so look at this. 37 years old. It was his second season in Denver. His stat, 5,477 yards. That's damn near 5,500 yards. 68.3 completion percentage. 55 touchdowns. Now, keep in mind, that is 16 more than second place. It's not like two more than second. 16 more than second place against 10 interceptions for a 115.1 QBR. The PFF rankings from that year. Completions. So he's first in these categories. Completions, yards, touchdowns, offensive grade, first downs, big time throws, then in second in passer rating, and third in completion percentage 68.3. Bananas. Deep balls over 20 yards. First. Yards. First. Passing grade. First. Big time throws. First. The short game, right? Short passing game. Zero to nine yards. Completions first. Yards first. Touchdowns first. Under pressure rankings. First in completion percentage. First and fewest percentage of dropbacks under pressure. And then when he was blitzed, he was first. 2013 stats. 13 and three. They crossed the 600 point threshold, which is just doesn't happen very often. Most ever in a single season. 606 in 16 games. And that is still an NFL record despite playing 17 games. The Denver Broncos 76 touchdowns is still an NFL record. They had five players with 10 plus touchdowns. Think about that. Think about fantasy football. Five players with 10 plus touchdowns. Demarius Thomas, Eric Decker, Wes Welker had 10. Julius Thomas had 12. They had six 40 plus games and I can go on and on and on. Peyton went off. We're getting to a point where Peyton and his brother Eli too are on TV so consistently. Whether it's the Manning Cast on Monday nights, it's a bunch of different commercials. They got the Caesar Sportsbook deal. They have so much stuff going on. 
shout out to all the folks built on their marketing team, but kids, young kids are growing up seeing so much Peyton Manning that I think that this next generation is gonna think that he's this former player who's really funny. When the reality is, is he had a season over 10 years ago with 16 games, now we play 17, that all the kids' favorite quarterbacks today haven't been able to match yet. It was that impressive. Even though that was towards the end of his career, he got a Super Bowl, he did it his own way, even though he, at the end, and definitely not at any point, was ever the most exciting athlete to watch at the quarterback position. Numbers don't lie, stats matter, and looking back on it, it's safe to say this is the greatest season and run that I've seen since I've been playing. So I've been watching a lot of football for a long time. Though other people are significantly more entertaining to me to watch than Peyton Manning, even in his prime numbers don't lie stats matter and some of these records that haven't been broken i don't think will get broken if not for a long time peyton manning you might debate who's the goat but from a single season perspective that season was if you've made it this far one i appreciate it two i need some feedback what types of content you appreciate and want more of very specific you can give me names of people you want to do video breakdowns on you want to talk about the upcoming draft you want to talk about the players leading into it how far down the road do we want to get more coaching more playing more coaches more players i need some feedback so please in the comment section let me know even if it's negative feedback as long as it's constructive and you kind of point me in a direction i'm going to respond to it and i'm really only doing this to help make people who love football like i do a little bit smarter and see things through a little bit different lens. So again, I appreciate you making it this far, but give me some feedback. Real quick, I wanna talk about the Summit Tour. If you're watching this video, you've probably heard me talk about it before, but very specifically, we spend from 8.30 in the morning till about four o'clock in the afternoon, half on the field, half in the classroom. We talk about leadership, we talk about what goes into building a career, building an off-season, addressing mechanical issues, how to communicate, what are relevant characteristics for a young quarterback. And the reason I use the word transformative, and I say it's a transformative weekend, is all the time we're gonna do on the field, you are gonna leave and know exactly what you need to get better. At. I can't say that about other camps. In the classroom, you are going to look at the position through a different lens and better understand what you need to do to reach those goals that you've laid out. And oh, by the way, I'm going to help you with goal setting as well. So yes, we're going to throw a bunch. We're going to learn a bunch. But specifically, you are going to be much more equipped to continue on your off season once you come and spend two or three days with me on the Summit Tour.